Okay, so Apple has just released iOS 16 developer of beta 2, 16 days later from beta 1. So Apple is moving rather quickly here. I was expecting this beta to be released next week, but hey, if it's here now, I'll take it. And there's a couple of changes that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. Now, aside from iOS 16 developer beta 2, Apple has also updated all the other platforms as per usual. So iOS 16 beta 2 iPad OS 16 developer beta 2 is now available for the iPad. Mac OS 13 beta 2 is out for the Mac. Watch OS 9 beta 2 is available for the Apple Watch. And of course, TV OS 16 beta 2 is now available for the Apple TV. Now, this one came in at approximately one and a half to two gigs, updating from beta 1 to beta 2 on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, on the left, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max here running beta 1 just to compare some of the key differences between beta 1 versus beta 2. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, one of the biggest changes happening here within iOS 16 is, of course, the lock screen. And iOS 16 Developer Beta 2 builds upon that. So let's go into the lock screen here and share some of the latest changes. So let's go into customizing mode here. And if we go into the customizing options, the first thing we'll notice here, if we click on these three dots, there's two things happening here. Number one, the UI is slimmer, cleaner. And as you can see, the word disable and enable have been removed from these labels right here. So a lot thinner cleaner UI here and this also applies to the widgets so this panel here looks a lot more compact things are a lot nicer the icons are more refined the uh, actual grids between these widgets also look better so yeah Apple continues to polish the software as expected so one thing I do want to mention and you guys have been asking the wallpapers do not change with dark mode so if we have a wallpaper here this one here for example let's say we have this wallpaper as our main wallpaper and we go into light or dark mode the wallpaper doesn't really change so that's still something that's not happening here either on beta 1 or beta 2 so no dark mode wallpapers that adapt to the dark mode on your iPhone unfortunately that's not happening it could change in the future now let's talk about additional changes here on the lock screen there's a lot happening here you can also swipe up on beta 2 to dismiss or remove a lock screen just like you can on Apple watch which is sort of interesting we can do this on Apple watch as well so if we swipe up on a UI here on the face you see that remove Right there, you got the same UI happening here on the iPhone. Pretty cool. So you can swipe it right and delete it right there from the actual lock screen if you want to get rid of that one. If you uh, tend to create a bunch of them just like I did here. So let's go ahead and swipe and show you all the ones I have here. I have a ton. So it'll be easier now to actually delete some. Now, if we go into the options to add new wallpapers, there's new things happening here for the lock screen as well. We have the features tab. So not much happening here. On the top, we have these two options have been swapped. And all the way at the end here, we have this new option, which I think is a bug because it just says photo in some sort of description nothing much there but this could be a new category coming in the future if you tap in there it just takes you to the photos application which is the same thing that this will do here so i'm not sure exactly what that will be in the in the near future but we'll have to wait and see here now one thing that's really changed here and i'm sort of happy with these changes let's go into weather and astronomy for these astronomy wallpapers we have several of them and these have really changed number one you can see there the globe looks different on beta 2 has sort of a different rotation as you can see right there if we swap over to the next one the location now looks different as well you also have your current location displayed right there as you can see everything sort of looks nicer in beta 2 as expected if we swipe again we have the moon and now the moon also looks a little more refined you can see the entire moon here a different image is available here and here's another image from the moon which in this case I like the beta 2 better than beta 1 although it's a little darker in beta 2 I just like the cleaner modern look if you will to the moon here in beta 2 and then we have have the solar system which this hasn't really changed much here in the latest beta now there's also something happening here with the wallpapers and lock screen here let me go into settings and let me show you what's new here so let's go into wallpapers here and we have a brand new ui so if we go to customize here this is now available in beta one as you can see right here we can customize current wallpaper or add a new wallpaper to this lock screen here or the home screen now you can also do this right here you can go ahead and customize the current wallpaper for example example and let's say I change it to that and click done so now I have a wallpaper for the home screen and a different wallpaper for the lock screen this is a new option here let me show you if you press and hold here and you select a new wallpaper or a new lock screen once you click done you will get a new UI so let me go ahead and show you here let me go back into the home screen here and let's select a brand new one and it's going to ask you if you
you want to use it as a pair so it would change the home screen and the lock screen together so let's click done on this one and here's the ui so set wallpaper pair okay so you see this option here it would actually change both the lock screen and the home screen together or you can customize the home screen differently and separately from the lock screen something obviously not possible in beta one so yeah refinements cleaning up the software everything is looking pretty solid here now there's also additional changes happening here of course so for example if we go back into the lock screen here and we go to set up a photo as a lock screen here so let's go ahead and set up a photo here now on beta one we have two filters on beta two we have four filters so we have the natural right there we have the black and white and now we have these dual tone and we also have this warm wash so two new filter options for photos on the lock screen which is also a welcome addition i'm sure apple will continue to add additional options for these filters in the near future now if we go into icloud settings here and we go to icloud backup this ui for icloud backup has been updated as you can see right here and according to nine to five mac backups are now enabled via 5g and lte as well obviously as wi-fi but this is going to be useful obviously if you need to create a backup on the go and you just don't have wi-fi and then this just being a quick first look at beta 2 of course i'll continue digging around the software don't expect ios 16 to be released anytime soon this one will release of course when the new iphones become available later in late september maybe the beginning of october later this year the new build number for those of you that are interested of course is going to be ios 16 developer beta 2 20 a53 Zero three. So yeah, that's going to be the build number for beta two. Of course, I'll continue as I mentioned digging around the software. Any additional changes that I may come across will be shown in future videos. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned here to the channel. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.